What up guys? So I know a lot of us are stuck at home. A lot of us are doing some workouts at home now. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to be going through a warm up routine that you should be doing for these workouts. Uh, what this is also going to be great for is just doing a little bit of extra mobility every day. So if you don't work out, this is also really good for you. Just a bit, I know we're going to be sitting a lot and laying around a lot and we're going to be at home. So just putting a little bit of time aside during the day to get through this. Um, it's not going to take very long, probably five to 10 minutes, if that. So let's get started here. The very first thing we're going to do is called the world's greatest stretch, but really it is because it warms up everything in your body. So what we're going to do is go into a push up position, just like this. Then we're going to bring one knee forward, just hold that. And then we're going to take this arm and reach through and then go all the way up. And we're going to do that five times. Following the head every time. And five, good. And then switch. And then reach through. Rotate up. Reach through. And five. Okay, and then other side again, just from a different angle so you guys can see. It's gonna be here. Foot up. We're gonna reach through, rotate up. Just take your time through this, go super slow. Make sure opening up the hips and the upper back. Good, and then other side. Three, four, and five, perfect. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is for our ankle. I went over this in my last video I made. So what we're gonna do here is go into a lunge position just like this. I'm gonna let our knee go forward as far as it can, like here and hold 10 seconds. Nine and 10. Now we're gonna lift the toes up while holding that forward position. And 10, okay, press the feet down, go forward for 10. Okay, lift the toe. Seeing it's wanna push back, but just keep pushing that knee forward while lifting. Okay, and forward again. And lift one more time. And 10. All right, so other side. Man, my heart rate's already high. <laughs> this is good. What you're going to notice too is this is going to warm you up really well. You're not going to need that cardio equipment. We just go through all these ranges of motion. <clears throat> okay, and then lift. Lift the toe. Four, five, and 10. Go forward. Lift the toe again. Eight, ten, and one more time, forward. Keep that heel down, that's what you really wanna focus on and making sure you have that arch. And last one, lift the toe. And 10, perfect. All right, so the next thing we do is we're gonna address the adductors. So, if you're at home and you don't have carpet like me, what you're gonna to wanna to do is put something under your knee and then something under your foot. So you can use like a yoga block or a pillow for your knee and then maybe a shirt or a towel for your foot. What you're gonna do is we're gonna go into this position right here. Wanna make sure the toes point is straight forward. We're just gonna slide out a little bit. Now we're gonna hold this 10 seconds, so squeeze in. And, ten, and use your adductors to close the gap. Hold here, 10 seconds, squeezing in the whole time. Slide back out. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slide back in, squeeze, make sure to squeeze the butt, squeeze the adductors together. 
Okay, and slide back up. And back in one more time, squeezing in with the adductor. Perfect, so I'm gonna switch sides just from a different angle just so you guys can see. So same thing, foot is out. We're gonna slide out. Notice how I'm trying to keep my hips forward too. We don't wanna be pushing your hips back too much. So squeezing in the adductor again. Slide back in, try not to use your upper body too much and using your adductors. Okay, slide back up. Back in. And one more time and make sure we're activating those glutes this whole time. Get out there super far. Just make sure it's in a uh, range you can control. Squeezing in as hard as you can right now with the glutes and the adductor. And then slide back in nice and slow and hold that for 10. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, there's gonna be two stages to this. Uh, the first stage is gonna require nothing. So what we're gonna do is just sit on our butt with our feet out in front of us. Just like this, so this is going to be the beginner stage. So we can have our hands behind us a bit, just using your fingertips. And all I want to do is just lift your legs up while holding this and having a straight leg, so 10 each side. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So you should be primarily feeling this here, okay? So same thing, other side. Two, three, four, Five, six, nine, and 10, good. So if you found that easy, what we're actually gonna do next, so we're gonna wanna do two rounds of that, so you can either repeat that or do it with this. So we're gonna have an object where we can go over, just like so, and same thing. But now instead of going up, we're gonna go over. So we're gonna do five each way, so one, one, two, two, four, four, five, and five, and then other side, same thing. This is the side that gives me a lot of problems. So this is burning like crazy already. Four, four, oh, I hit the block. Five and five, good. Uh, you can use something like this, pretty much any object, and just take your time going over that. So once we're done with that, we're gonna actually go into what's called an active pigeon. Now, if you can't go into a pigeon, what we're gonna do is you can just go into a 90-90. So just to show that really quick, is you're just gonna be like this, legs behind you 90 degrees, legs in front, and you're just gonna lean forward, try not to round your back. So keep your back nice and tight, and then lean forward. You should be primarily feeling this stretch in the glute, maybe a bit in the hamstring, but mostly in the glute. If you can uh, do a pigeon correctly, what we wanna do next is what's called an active pigeon. So what we're gonna do is from here, we're gonna pop the leg behind us like this, so it's just here. And then we're gonna lift the knee up and down 10 times. Two, four, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then just hold that stretch for a little bit. Pushing the knee down into the ground, not just sitting here. And 10, okay, and then other side. And I'll just go this angle just so you guys can get a better angle of that. So here, starting the 90-90, pop the leg back. And then here, so just 10. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, and then push down and hold. Nine and 10, perfect. Okay, so we've got two more things left, both for the upper back. I covered this in a video before, but we'll just go over it again. So we're gonna do some thoracic rotations, nice and easy. So first one we're gonna do is just laying on our side, just like this. Gonna keep our back nice and arched, and then we're just gonna rotate back like this eight times. Make sure to follow your hand with your eyes. So rotating back of the head too, making sure our legs are at 90, knees are squeezed together. And good, okay, then other side, same thing. So here, 90. 
arch back. We're just rotating back, following with our eyes. And good. Okay, so once we're done that, we're just gonna take care of the overhead. So we're gonna go into the same position as before, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our thumb down, just like so, and we're just gonna rotate up and around, just like this here, and then back. So our main goal with this, follow the hand with the eyes, and make sure the thumb's pointing at the ground the whole time with a straight arm. You'll notice how my arm's coming up off the ground, that's just because my overhead mobility is not the greatest. <clears throat> but that's okay, just make sure your thumb's pointing at the ground and just rotating over. This is just gonna help you open up that chest and shoulder and upper back. And one more. Good, and then other side. It's the same thing, up and around and back. That is much tighter for me. <laughs> Just make sure we want to always go through ranges of motion that feel good. We don't want to do anything bad. So if this does feel bad, just stop and then go back. And perfect. And that is all. Hope this helped you guys out. Um, just make sure during this time, what we really want to focus on is keeping our recovery where it was before we stopped working out in the gym and to keep our mobility the same. If not, it should be getting better. And that's really what I'm using this time to do is get my mobility better and make sure everything's feeling good. That way when I hop back in the gym, yeah, my strength might have dropped a bit, but it's gonna come back fast with way better technique. I hope this video helped. Just make sure if you do like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, share it to your friends, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out, peace.